Traveling musicians also see the change to vinyl as well. King Buffalo is a Rochester-based band that tours nationally and internationally. Like any touring band, they sell merch. They typically have... We got vinyl, t-shirts, um, we used to have hoodies, uh, <laughs> CDs, dugouts, pins, patches, stickers, um, I think that's everything. Basically whatever we can slap our name on. And their sales reflect the current trend towards vinyl. CD sales? I mean, they've gone way down. Uh, vinyl has made a massive comeback. Despite the challenges... I mean, we just make sure we have space, because obviously vinyl takes up a lot more space than a CD does, but it makes more money, so it's worth it, and we love to have vinyl, and we collect vinyl ourselves. Vinyl is worth it, and for this band, it's the perfect fit. And ever since like starting to play music, like the bucket list has been like, I gotta have my name on a vinyl. Well, we all grew up listening to records, you know, whether it was like raiding our parents' mm -hmm. vinyl stash and everything, you know, and all the bands that we idolized growing up were bands that had extensive vinyl catalogs. And in our genre of music, people want us to have vinyl, so we do. Kind of loud, psychedelic music, um, kind of sounds like a fuzzy warm blanket that's oh. also terrifying. And like any other vinyl lover, they love the physicality. I mean, everybody loves to have their be able to wrap their hands around a physical media as opposed to a tiny disc that sits in your car. Right. Or you know, the, the artwork's a lot more you know mm -hmm. impressive looking than on a little little box, and uh, just something about actually like placing it on the turntable, dropping the needle, and you know, it's, like I said, it's just a lot more of a tactile experience. It feels a little more uh, participatory than putting in your CD. Uh, and hitting play. Sales have gone up. It's a tangible thing that somebody can, it's a collector's item. Yeah. Um, a CD's not really a collector's item anymore. They've been able to order and sell thousands of vinyl records across the world, all to an overwhelmingly positive response from their fan base. Dan Gross, News 8.